are open. We are going to the spot to see the uh, the making of aki and sawfish. So for some of the folks who never seen aki before, we're taking you down to the restaurant. It's a small little restaurant, and uh, we've been eating breakfast from them for the past four days. Yeah, and. They asked us to come in and they're going to show us Aki. Well, I know the Aki, so but the audience who doesn't know, you're going to get to see it here for the first time. Aki. And why you only, why you only should do it a certain way. So let's go see what's going on inside there. Welcome folks, welcome to the Backyard Cafe. Don't forget, eat, live, love, laugh. That's what we're about. Enjoy the show, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace and love. Right here, emojis. Emojis, all right? You got the name, the number, the WhatsApp, everything. We are in Jamaica, and we're gonna be learning how to cook aki. Aki, I hope it's Aki and Saltfish. Let's see right here. A small little diner and these people are doing amazing stuff. We've been eating here for four or five days now and um, the breakfast is amazing. So we're gonna get to go inside and we're gonna get to see how we do it. So if you could pan over there and watch the busyness in the kitchen. In a Jamaican kitchen, learning to cook Aki and saltfish and now you're gonna get to see what aki really looks like for folks who doesn't know aki is the jamaican national dish here it is right here guys can you see it you got a good look good lighting this is the aki it hangs on the tree like this you have to wait until it opens up so that that Sinai can come out. Oh, so right? Just like you have your bit of cassava, it has the Sinai, the Aki has it too. And this is the part that you get to use for the Aki. Look at it, you see how it looks like your lungs? It has all that veins and everything? That's how healthy it is for you. That's good long food, right? right. It has the, the perfect one with the seed. The perfect one with the seed. Correct. So, so there. Can you, can you explain what this is? But before you do that, tell me about your restaurant. Okay. Where is your restaurant? Where is it located? Okay, what right. do you do on a daily basis? All right. Well, the name of our restaurant is Emoja Restaurant. Um, Emoja is a word, it's an African word. It's a, it's it means a, love. It means love. It's a South African word. Right, it means love. So, um, out of that, because I do a lot of cooking, I love to cook. Uh -huh. And I do it with a lot of passion and a lot of love, right? It tastes better when you do it with love, That's right. right. Okay. And, and your breakfast is pure love. Yes. The uh, yes. uh, kalanoo and saltfish, yes. I'm hooked with the kalanoo and saltfish. Really? Yeah. Okay. Every Up morning. to my chefs. Yeah, <laughs> good. Right. Good. So today we're going to be learning to cook aki. Uh -huh. And it's in abundance here. It's and you guys it, have it here as your it, national dish. We don't dish. have to plant an aki tree in Jamaica again. It just grows. It just grows. Yes. You probably see it sometimes. People have fences along and they, just the wood that's there it starts the, springing up because it's an aki tree it's very beautiful with the colors once it's hanging on the tree like that right and a lot of folks doesn't know that that uh, well who doesn't know about aki doesn't know that this is a poisonous uh, uh, a poisonous gas that's inside of it yes yes but once it is open naturally that gas escapes and the fruit is quite safe so it's not recommend that you go up and pick the aki. You have to let it open up first. No, you can actually pick it from the tree. You know, uh -huh. Once you put it down, just leave it. It will naturally open. Once it's full, it will naturally once open. Naturally open. Once, once you pick it, if it's closed up, fully closed, mm -hmm. and you pick it, 
it and allow it to sit for a couple of days or a day or two. Right. It will naturally open. Natural up. open up, and right. that gas comes out, and, and that's when you know it's ready yes. to use. Yes. It's a natural process. Seems okay. like a lot of work, but we have the same thing, the cassava, the bitter cassava to do the thing, but... Okay. This opens, this is a natural process. Natural case. process. Right. Aki. Right? So, and the na how did this become your national dish? Because it was so in abundance. It was so in abundance and... Um, Quick food. You didn't have to purchase Aki. Everybody has an Aki tree in their backyard, basically. Um, now that it's getting more commercialized and we're putting on trees, developing and all of that, so you uh -huh. find persons that the, you will find persons now, you know, on the um, maybe in this in the in the in the commercial areas, you won't find the ackee trees, right? Right. But predominantly, everywhere you go, you see ackee trees. And I love the look, the way it looks, like like the lungs. Right. Right there. Look at that. That's a close-up look on the Aki guys. You see all the veins and everything. And they said, like you eat the, the, the nuts that look like the brain, that's good for the brain. The nuts, the kidney beans is for the kidneys. Right, right. This is for the lungs. Okay. You see? Yes, looks like the lungs. Yes. Yeah. Really, really good stuff. So let's go inside and see how so you get this done. Oh, this yeah, go ahead. Tell me. All right, so you, you take the seed out. You can just use your finger. Take Once it's out. fully ready, right? Take the seed out. All right. You open up. Sometimes you see this is the red things on the inside. The vein. Right. So you just clean it out. So you devein that. Right. Pretty much. This one is. You find some. Some of them are hard to come out. This one is pretty easy. What it gives it a bitter taste or something? Yes. And nobody wants to see that in their plates. They oh. Don't want to see the inside of the ackee looking red. All right. So you put all of that. So this is a perfectly clean ackee right now. Yeah, Jamaicans are very funny when it comes to their food. Yes, yes. It has to be just this this yes, way all yes, the time. Yes. So here it is right here. You open it up and you have to get all of the membrane out. Like that. Has to come out. Right there. So my aki is clean. You get all of that out. There you go. All right, I was just properly educated just now uh -huh. that, it, that the Aki came in from West Africa. From West Africa. By the slaves. We knew it had to be something like yes, that. Yes, but I, didn't, I wasn't sure what country it came right, from. Right, from West right, Africa. Right. Most of our food came from, from, from that right. area right there. Okro, all of that. Right. So, good stuff. Can we come in now? Yeah, sure. Get it to go inside cooking up some aki let's go all right so, so it's not just aki it's aki with the sawfish or how are they gonna say it? the aki and sawfish aki and sawfish yeah right? so this is the aki what okay when it's in this stage right uh-huh now we have to boil it first you boil it right so we put a little salt in some water uh -huh. i usually put garlic to give it a little flavor because it's very bland right now Right. All right. So can I pop that in in eat that like that right there? Or, you know that or? There are persons who, I, I've never done it. But there you, are persons who, you scared? Not that I'm scared, but I just don't like the thought of eating it raw. <laughs> okay, okay, but okay. I know that there are persons who, who do eat it raw. It's very bland. Good. Tastes like nut. It has a nutty taste, but it, it has a nutty taste, a right. creamy taste. You got a coconut taste. Really? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so when we when after we pick it from the from the um, pots, mm -hmm. then we try to as soon as possible to boil it. Because the heat and especially how it's hot here now, they get very soft. And yeah. um, so they won't be very good cook anymore all right so as soon as we pop them out of the thing put them in a pot of boiling water we heat the water first i usually put a little pimento seed in there um, flavor a little salt a scotch bonnet pepper and some salt all right nice and we boil it i love that to boil up first before i put the acid in because the acid cooks pretty quick yeah five minutes and they are done right, right. um after it, so this is actually for time we boil the ackee. Right. right, you get to steam it out right. with the flavor and everything. So, and this is probably the, the texture. See the texture of this? I love it. 
And just like she was saying, you see the pimento seeds in there? So the pimento seeds are still in there. So good stuff. All right, so you can probably taste, taste it. It is now, that's how soft it is. Looks like eggs yes, now. now it's, yes, looks like scrambled eggs. Perfect. Now it tastes like bread nut. Katahar. Good. With the flavor. Okay, so what we'll be doing, I'm going to show you how we salted the apples. Mm -hmm. We have a little sweet pepper. So here are the ingredients right here. Right. We got some sweet pepper and thyme. Right. Um, this is onions, um, scallion, and um, hot pepper, and garlic. Right. All the right. pimento? No, the uh, 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 scotch bonnet you got it? Right. It's pepper, the hot pepper. Good flavor. Scallion, onion, right. and garlic. Chopped garlic. Uh -huh. Alright. Some tomatoes and the salt fish now. We boil the salt fish. I prefer to really um, soak my salt fish overnight. To get all that salt out and I don't I don't usually boil salt fish. I prefer to so soak it overnight. Um, unless it's uh, like no, I have to do this just now. I boil it. Right. To get the salt out. But when you boil it, you try to get that nice flavor out and the texture of it changes. Yes. When, it, when you soak it overnight, it still stay whole. And it's, it has a very soft succulent. Even when you salt it, it's not cooking long enough to get crunchy and dry. That's so a good technique. Dry. So you soak it overnight. If it's a little salty, because you know some of them are very thick. Mm -hmm. So if, when you pick it up, you can debone it, take it goes out. Take that too long. Pick it up. It's still a little salty. You can just put some fresh water on it, rinse it off, and you're good. Good. Perfect. So now we're and then we got some tomatoes going. We got some black pepper, and it's simple ingredients like this, and Same that is it. All right, Chef Ryan is going to whip up some Akia sawfish for us. We get to taste this up. It tastes so good. It 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 looks like eggs. When you eat it, you have that that buttery nutty taste it actually tastes like when it when it's steamed like this it actually tastes like bread nut or what we know in Guyana as katahar eating it raw you, you you have a coconut taste that nutty nutty kind of taste do not go picking aki off the tree opening it and eating it okay warning guys I like that right there. That's breadfruit. Yes. We and got the roast. Breadfruit to go with it. it yeah. It quite well. We got the roasted breadfruit. Right. Chef Ryan over here. Ryan is gonna do his steak now. Right. Sorry chef, I'm gonna be eating your aki like this. So no Jamaicans would do this. That are bold. Vegan, vegan, vegan persons. Some, I know quite a few. They don't do anything that's cooked. They just have raw diets. Yeah, it's they milky. Like it's that. it's yeah. buttery, yeah. and it tastes like nut. And you have different varieties of ackees. So some of them are more buttery. Some of them are very hard. Uh huh. Because I have an ackee tree at home, and you can probably boil it for ten minutes, and it's still very hard. Wow. But if you taste of it, I mean, usually I boil it and I just eat it just like that without even sauteing it. Cool. Chef, we love your, your, your work. It looks well used there, buddy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Everybody is busy in the kitchen. These guys just give us some time to cook up the aki. So now, in Guyana, I'm going to tell you folks, the aki tree, some of it is in the University of Guyana, the compound. The Aki tree is right there. Well, we're going to pin the tree and what it looks like. Right there, you have some on Brick Dam. A few trees left on Brick Dam. And uh, it's in a few church compounds around Georgetown. Right? So look out for that. Now you know about the Aki and where you can find it, the tree. It's right in Guyana. And this is it right here. Jamaican um, national dish the aki and saltfish for real.
cooking up by Chef Ryan. Onions and the garlic and the uh, hot pepper. Sauteing. Yes, saute while first. while the breadfruit rolls yeah. in. And Chef Chef Ryan is adding flavors to that pan right there. Mm -hmm. Colorful food, simple food. Really good food, Jamaican national dish, aki and sawfish. And you still have the enough salt in there. And with the ackee, with how you uh, uh, steam it with, with, with the flavor there, that has flavor also. It's really good. So and now you don't have anything to it. You don't want the sausage to be too fresh. Oh. Right? Unless you're, you're, uh, you can't take salt. You know, if you're on a low salt diet. Right. Or no salt diet, then you want to get your completely completely fresh. Yeah. But it does have the same flavor and it enhances the, the, the ackee. Like, Chef Ryan is adding some black pepper to it. So you let the natural flavor from the sawfish come out there now, mix with your vegetables and everything. We just allow that to salt it for a few minutes and then we add it now. That's it right there. And when this is uh, 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 served for every Sunday morning, every day, as long as it's in season and I can get it here, it's uh -huh. every day. And it's the first dish to finish every day. Um, That's what everybody is coming for. We want the ackee. They eat it every day. Sometimes I do it with um, corn pork. Because uh -huh. with corn pork, I can boil it and cut up the small pieces. Right. Fried crispy. Yeah. And then we use it just like we use the salt dish. Right. And look at that vibrant color right there. The yellow, the red, the green, the onions are still intact, so you're getting that white. Damn. And chef, you don't want to leave that in too long because you don't want it. You, you want leaves, that? You don't want the leaves to fall off in it. You uh -huh. just, want the, just want the flavor. You just want the flavor of that to be there. You don't want it to overpower. That's why you took it out before. Good man, Chef Ryan. And it's not too harsh heat. You got the medium heat. It's cooked on medium heat. Because basically everything is finished. Right, right. And if you find that it feels a bit if it's too high, it will stick to the bottom of the bit. And you don't want to waste the aki on. You don't want to waste any parts of it. Chef Ryan, that, that looks so colorful. That's what I hear to make an aki and sour fish is vibrant. Yes, vibrant color. With us, when we say um we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it right here, right now, right? When we say Aki and Saltfish, right? We we expect it to be it to be saltfish, Aki to be balanced. Oh, okay, okay, right? Okay. But when you say Aki with the saltfish, it's more Aki. More aki than the saltfish is just to flavor the thing. Yeah. Yes, yes. So you find in Jamaica, um, it's hard to get more. Because you don't really have to even have saltfish. Uh huh. Right. You nice. Can just, you can just saute that. Could just be vegetarian. We just your vegetables without the salt. Right? Yeah, like, like you said, the raw vegans can have it. Right. Just like that. Right. So if you don't have the salt, or you can't afford to buy the salt, you can just do that and have it with your meal. Simple and good. I'm seeing breadfruit everywhere. Just as wild as the apples. Yeah. So 
I'm seeing breadfruit everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's in season now. So, uh, this time of year, it's kind of September, August, September. Yeah, That's weird because in Indiana, we, the season for breadfruit is gone for us. Okay. okay. Well, it is, it is in season here now. Huh. So, you find that, you know, it's so easy to. Okay, eat okay. A, a in Jamaica. Okay, good. Right. You want to you wanna turn this breadfruit? Right. Give it, a, give it a little scar in the bottom and so the steam can come right out. So you know when it's done? Uh, well. Or you can stick a knife in it. This one is easy to roast. They call these yellow marks. That, the like, for me, it, you see how the bulge cut already bulge out, open up there? For me, that is done. All right, let me show you. These are easy to roast, they don't roast very long. If they over roast when you're peeling them, it starts cracking up. Right. Right, so we don't want it to crack up. When you see the, yeah, the bread cake, when you cut it on it, you're not going to see it now, notice it now, but on the inside, when you dig out this part, uh -huh. and it's yellow, right. all those are yellow hard bread foods. So those are very easy to roast. All right. That means so it's, it's full too, it's ready, like right. almost right. to that ripen point. Right. With nothing on, on it. You know it's ready. Yeah. Guinness. That is pure breadfruit. Right, right. Cooked breadfruit yes. right there. Right. So we just give it a few more minutes just to steam it a little bit more. Right. Chef Ryan just took off the aki with the sawfish. That's finished. That's done. Getting ready for the breadfruit now. Okay. We're going to plate the aki and sawfish and then we're waiting for the breadfruit. Go ahead and get a, shoot, a shot of that. Lovely colors. We're in a busy kitchen, still getting the goodness of the Jamaican Aki and Sawfish, famous Jamaican Aki Sawfish with roasted breadfruit. That's very hot. <laughs> hot breadfruit. Chef Ryan is peeling up the breadfruit right there to go with the Aki and sawfish and, and that is roasted breadfruit guys That's when it get it got hit. Blight. They say in Jamaica they say that that's blight. <laughs> oh, but that's when it get it got hit. Yes, it got hit. But they call it in Jamaica they say it blight. It blight. <laughs> and the person who brought it, they just gave it his name. Yeah. So they call the person blight. Wait, wait. It's, it's, it's Captain Blight. <laughs> who brought it to Jamaica? Captain Blight. Yes. This is a real person. Yes, it's a real person. There's a person who brought the, the, the scratch up breadfruit. Name is Captain Blight. And guess what they call the breadfruit once you have that bruise and that scratch on it? Blight. <laughs> Name after Captain Blight. A real person named real Captain person. Blight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Aki with the sawfish. And then you have the Aki with the roasted breadfruit. What I, what I would do there now, right? A little bit of drizzle, a little bit of coconut oil. Right? Add some scallions right on top there. Man, Chef, Chef Ryan. Man. <laughs> a little bit of salt to flavor that because you want, you want to keep your flavor right here. You see? And you want to catch it while it's still hot. You know what I mean? Yeah, Chef Ryan, you do, you do your thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I would, I would, I would love. That. You want scallions every day? You ha you have scallions? Yes. Yeah, please. Let's dress it up. And on a busy day, Chef Ryan is doing fried chicken. Folks are lining up, waiting for food, and they just did this specially for us. So we got a shot to see how you do aki 
from start to finish and this looks amazing so the frozen aki or the canned aki cooks differently to the fresh aki some of them some of them are hard enough still hard keep it in place I know this took a lot out of you. Thank you so much for that, right? Really appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, chef. That's um, coconut oil? But it's vegetable oil. Oh, okay, good. A you little, want to say coconut oil? Yeah, a little bit of vegetable oil. Just. <laughs> See that? That is it right there. That's a masterpiece. The roasted breadfruit, aki, with all its vegetables and everything, the vibrant colors, and the aki is still intact. Here you go. Jamaican aki and saltfish. You guys are amazing, man. This is really good. So, finally, I'm, I'm getting an authentic, other than I had some really nice jerk chicken, jerk pork. I even had jerk rabbit. Okay, where you had that? At, uh, where is that one? St. Anne's. Ultimate, ultimate jerk, okay, okay. ultimate jerk, and um, that was good, All right? So now I'm getting to eat aki and sawfish in Jamaica, the Jamaican national dish. So let's go sit and eat this. I'm gonna go in for the aki first. You wanna get a piece of that sawfish in there? Look at that. Here are the emojis. Mm. Finally, it's soft, it's buttery, it's nutty. The onions and the peppers, the tomatoes didn't even cook all the way through. But I'm tasting every depth of flavor here. Man. Check this. Mm. And just like the name said, right? Emojis came from, the name came from South Africa. Means love. That is pure love right there, man. Pure love. Roasted breadfruit, aki, sawfish, Jamaican national dish. Amazing. Thank you so much, right? You are right. This is pure love right here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Simple and amazing. Mm -hmm. And I see why this would sell off. It's a simple meal and it's so good. You see the saltfish? All the salt is not gone. And I'm still getting to bite into saltfish. Right. You see? Chef. Properness right here, man. Like it. Love it. Simple food, good food, buddy. Yeah, man. This is real nice food. This is what I was looking for all week. Right here. Thank you. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything is just right. You what what is it? In Jamaica it's a you mean little but with talawa. Little but you talawa. Yeah, this is a small space, there are small restaurants. Mm -hmm. You know? But, but you can stand up to it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, guys. Almost finished. Yes, I'm going to finish all my ackee and sawfish. Vibrant plate of food right here. But I'm gonna cut the camera off. One more spoon. One more spoon just for you. Fresh aki. It's not frozen. It didn't come from a can. Because we're in Jamaica, baby. And enjoying the good food, right? So, see you when I see you guys. Thanks for checking in. I think later on this afternoon, we're going to another part of Jamaica. We don't know the name yet. But you'll get to see that. That's why you need to stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Devin Adams, Backyard Cafe. Backyard Cafe to the world. We are in Jamaica. And I'm having a lovely plate of aki sawfish with roasted breadfruit. See you when I see you folks. Good food right there.